Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 1, and in this episode, we're moving on to the Lestation, the second continent. And we're going to check out all this information we can learn here. Miss Glasses. I'm tired of seeing girls become pretty after taking their eyeglasses off. How about girls getting pretty putting eyeglasses on? No? Well, I can't see your face with those glasses on, so, like, I have nothing against glasses. I like them quite a bit, but I cannot see your face at all. Like, those glasses are the swirly-eyed glasses, and they make me just go like, Do you have a face under there? The most popular of the title, the more it fails when you change the main, don't it? Why is it going off the screen? Here's a plan for a new dungeon. It's good to have a fully accessible dungeon now, right? I can't believe how good it feels to not have to worry about falling. Noma Cave. Noma, 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 dear girl. Last time I brought, I bought online, it forced me to enter my card number, Shika. Is this a conspiracy, Shika? No. We... Okay, I'm gonna accept some quests. Apparently, only one quest because there's only one new one. I thought they'd be different, all different quests. I could turn these in and get a bunch more credits, but I don't really feel like it, so I'm not going to. Let's drop by the shop. I could get a bamboo sword, which is not as good as what I have. Or I could do something like this, which you know is pretty good. 100 more vitality and seven, well, 68 more. Hmm. Let's see. So these are the two I'd want to get, if anything. Um, for the most part, I'm being hit by physical moves, so I think I'll buy... Oh, there's seven... Wait. Is that C at the end? Okay, yeah. Shopping! I got an achievement. Wait. Before I finish. Then there's all these. And, uh... I don't even know where to begin. 5,000 for a life ring brings your HP up by, like, 32... Like, 3,500 or something. 2,500. But it lowers my luck stat, which I'm not really willing to lower my luck. Um, I like being lucky. Hmm. Well, there's this item. The Sanja lowers my movement, but increases my luck by 25. This one would increase hers by 50, and I think for her I'm going to buy one of these. I like luck. It's it's just a thing about me. So I'm going to start equipping. Um... Oh, wait. How do I... There we go. 105... Okay, so you definitely need this. You would lose agility by five, but you would gain a lot of defense. You would lose luck. Ten luck, but gain a hundred, and then seven, oh, it's 68. I think I'm gonna let Neptune be my glass cannon. Instead, equip this. Um, increase that by 50. Yeah, I don't have anything for anyone else, for the most part. Alright, we're going to call that good for now. I don't think I bought anything else, and if I did, I'm sure people will yell at me. And this is going to be the final episode for this recording session, so let's just get straight to it. Adventure. Hey, Iffy, are we there yet? That's odd. I'm pretty sure it was in this direction. Don't tell me we're lost. I hope not, but it's been a while since I came. Let's ask someone. Well, how about that I'm going on an adventure looking person there? Hello, you with the red hair. Hmm? What is it? I want to meet Lady Blackheart, but can you tell me where to go to meet her? Lady Blackheart? Oh, you mean Lady Noir? Well, just head down this path, take a right, and you'll find the Basilicom. Looks like the general direction was correct. Thank you. 
Got to help each other in need, right? Well, since we've met, do you mind if I ask you your name? My name is Neptune. This here is Kampa and Iffy. My name is Falcom. I'm a newbie adventurer. If you're in a pickle and you need help, just give me a holler. Really? Thanks. Oh, we're in a hurry, so we have to run. Hope we meet again soon. Yeah, see you again. Phew, what a surprise. I didn't expect to meet them in this realm. What? So I just realized the shares are actually changing in the top right. Interesting. Oh, there's an event back at Planet Neptune? Why, hello there. I believe you can use this now. Cassette received? Discard received? Come back when you defeat any powerful enemies or when you go up in rank. I'll give you another disc then. Create unique discs and equip them by burning idea chips onto bl- Hey, you remember that thing when I asked you guys, what is this all about? And then I proceeded to get that the next episode because I'm stupid and didn't bother progressing the story yet? Mmm. You can create unique equipable items by burning idea chips abilities onto blank discs. Depending on the idea chip used, a goggly game may result, which will grant you an additional ability. Obtain medals. Okay, obtain medals, defeating tough enemies, and more. Exchange them with mysterious men and put up to them for discs. The idea chips for the blank disc can be obtained from various sources. Okay, disc dev. Cassette and discard. Wait. Disc card. Discard. Mmm, I hate that. <laughs> okay, I don't have any level one things. Um... I do have some of those. Kinda pervy. Lowers damage received from animal type foes. What? Why is that kinda pervy? Data defense, data type foes, ghost type, and dragon type. Or big online. HP is restored by set amount after battle, or experience received after battle will inc Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Um or same received from dragon type, ghost type, data type, and animal type. Uh, before I do this, I'm going to see what kind of enemies are going to be in the station. And then we'll decide what we're doing there. Um, excuse me, I came to meet Lady Blackheart, but is she around? Who are you, kid? This isn't a playground. Scram. Hey, that's no way to treat your guests. We really need to meet the CPU. We're trying to get NetNep's memory back. Oh, I know. This must be an event flag where I have to just have to name myself first. My name is Neptune. This here is Compa and Iffy. Stop rambling. I don't care who or what you are. Now get out of here. Wow, so much for civility from the Basilicom. They say the clothes that make the man, but I guess the CPU isn't all that great. Say what you want. I could care less about what Blackheart is being called. Hey, you've got a group of cute girls here pleading. Come on, just let us meet her. Nep, let's go. We're wasting our time here. If you were... Are you giving up already? It's game over the moment you give up. Let's just go. This is the end. Isn't that... Point up tune? Like, that dungeon in there? Well, that was easy. What a fool to have faced me. Ooh, I didn't expect so many monsters to be spawning in the land. Well, the area's cleansed, so I better head back to the Basilicom. It looks a lot like... Ah, oh, whatever. Now, I'm sure you're all wondering why I'm down in the station. After Neptune fell, we continued to fight, but we felt our powers weakening. Our powers come from people's faith or shares, which tends to sway. I hate to admit it, but I would have been next after Tep Neptune fall. That's why I quit and came down here to get my shares up again. Now that I'm up here, I've noticed that faith in me has been waning. It looks like a major company called Avenair has taken over the station. With me gone, it looks like everyone put up faith in Evanair instead, but that isn't the only problem I have with Evanair. They asked if my faithful from the Silicon took over the place. Now I'm being monitored, so I have to sneak out to maintain the peace here. <sighs> the Silicon. I really don't want to go back there. Well, poor Blackheart. Poor Noir.
Um, still don't have any idea what I'm fighting. I'm so mad that Silicon was one, but Iffy, you're another. Why do we leave? Did he notice he didn't show any respect at all to their CPU? Oh yes, he didn't treat the goddess's name with respect. That's weird. What's so weird? Maybe they're like buddy-buddy and talk super casual. Well, there's no way people in the land would call their CPU by name. Do you remember the person at the Planeptum to Silicon? He was weird, but he still respected the CPU by addressing her properly. But here, they're just treating the CPU with scorn. This is normal. Iffy, if you're traveling all over the world, right? Do you know something? Sorry, Compa, I've mostly stayed in the Planet Tomb, so I don't have any info now. So much for the adventuring character, eh, Iffy? But don't worry, we won't we'll kick you out just because you faked your resume. Even if your level is low, we'll be together, even in the next game sequel. Kind of like, ironic, this is coming from someone who lost their memory, eh? <laughs> Sorry! Well, back on subject, I propose we do some quests. How about it? We still have some money, right? Do we... Why do we need to do quests now? Oh wait, don't tell me you used up our funds for your own pleasures. No, we have money. It's not like I sneak up to buy pudding like you, Neptune. W w you knew? Dead obvious. You thought I didn't notice? Uh, yep. Anyway, remember how the key fragment was with the disc in Neptune? Don't you think it could be the same in Station too? You're a genius, Iffy. I'm sorry to have thought you were useless earlier. Uh, Nep Nep, I don't think you needed to bring up that last part. Is that her? The person who wants us to fight monsters? She's kind of small. I was thinking like a big burly man or something. She's staring at us. Now she's waving. I think she's the right person. I suppose she's come to the same conclusion about us. So it's you girls? You're gonna take the work I ordered? Are you sure you'll be okay? More than okay. Nice to meet you. I'm Aya. This is Kampa, and that's Neptune. Well, I guess you wouldn't have come if you weren't okay. My name's Xion. I run a small factory called Passe. Now, no use standing around here. Follow me. Didn't you say you ran a factory? This place looks more like a cafeteria. In Japan. My parents run the cafeteria. The factory is right next door. You'd rather speak at a cleaner place, right? Take a seat. Dibs on the bar stool! With this cafeteria, you can order a heck load of parfaits and puddings. How would you That's know that? That's not gonna create revenue, you know? The factory isn't enough, so we make do with the cafeteria too. Sorry to intrude, but could you tell us the details to the work? Sure. I need you to take care of the monster around the trade route. It used to be safe, but recently a large monster appeared from nowhere. With the route unsafe, all trade is halted. Bingo! This may be the work we're looking for. We'll take that order. Good. With Avenir killing the market, we don't need any more problems. Xion! Xion! What's this, Avenir? Wait, you don't know Avenir? Yes, we just arrived in Telas Station today, so we don't know this Avenir. Avenir is a major company that's pretty much ruling Last Station. They make everything from goods to weapons and is controlling the market. People like me can't compete with them, so our products don't sell well. And it's not like they create work. I know a few who close shop already. That's terrible. It goes against antitrust laws. Didn't you talk with the CPU? It's hard to believe that she would let this go. Myself and others tried, but Lady Blackheart was away for too long. Avenir placed their goons in the Basilicom. Now they pretty much own it. Such a waste, since Lady Blackheart just returned from Celestia. Avenir won't let us near the lady at all. So Avenir is bad. Everyone is suffering because of them, right? They're not just bad. They're monsters. I see. So that explains the treatment we got back at the Basilicon. So I guess we can't meet the goddess through the Basilicon, then can we? How about we barge into where the CPU Lady Blackhearth lives? We could get info on the key fragment and help Xion. What a bargain! Blackhearth? What? Okay, Nep Nep. Let's go on south and stand by at Lady Blackheart's room. 
Lady no. Black what? H E A R T, not Lady Black Hearth. Yeah, I was really confused if for a moment. You don't know where the lady is. The guards will just spot you. Well, we have to try, right? I'm more the type to try and fail instead of not trying at all. Not this time, Nip. If we play this wrong, we'll never meet the lady. And if that happens, we'll be harming Xion and folks more than they need. Let's take care of Xion's order first. Let's take it in steps, okay? Well, I really like Aya. A lot more logical than Neptune. I'm back. Oh, not like anyone would greet me. CP, we've made mention many times not to go out alone without telling us. So they won't even call me by name anymore. When and where am I I am is my choice. Are you trying to confine me? Sit here nice and pretty like a wallflower? No, that's not what we're getting at. We're just worried. Hmm, well I'll assume what you said it is what you mean then. And anything to tell me while I was gone? No, nothing particular. Particular, so I assume something did happen then. It's very petty, so it won't it isn't much of interest to report on. But my orders speak on this petty item. Three girls came by to see you and caused a commotion, that's all. Came to see me? Oh. <clears throat> Describe these girls to me. One of the girls is a Neptian Neptune or something. Did you say Neptune? A girl with white purple hair with a spiky lift? Yes, I suppose that is the Neptun Neptus Nept no Nepa Nepi You can't even say it right, can you? <clears throat> the Nep something girl does match the description. Do you know her? Know her, it's more than that. What is she thinking visiting me here in the station? Will you go and meet this girl? I believe that would be futile. What do you mean? It seems she lost her memory. That is why she came to see you. Lost her memory? Could it be because of that battle? If so, that explains a lot. CPU? If I fought Neptune with her memory back, would I be able to defeat her? But without her memory, I may be able to win. If I can be defeat Neptune, I can regain my seat of power back in the station. Alright then, time to take a visit to Neptune. Alright. I guess uh, she has a plan to beat us. Let's visit this first. Here, let me give you this. It's a blank disc to set idea chips. Cassette 2. Okay, what kind of enemies are going to be in here? After we watch the thing, of course. We're here, so this is where the monster thing is gonna appear. Oh, no monster will beat me. I'll just snap my fingers and blow him up. Hey, Iffy, Kampa, hurry, hurry. <sighs> nep, Nep, wait, I'm so tired. With Nep this excited, she'll lose her spunk when we need it. Who needs the last gen yellow stamina bar? I've got infinite stamina. Let's just wipe out the monsters in the area and pour back to Xi'an. Some monsters can be infected by a bug during battle that causes them to go berserk. If there's a monster that is viral, other monsters in battle may become viral, so be careful. Viral monsters are more powerful than their normal forms. If one becomes viral, it can spread to other monsters. Okay, I have been informed that there are there's a rare chance of a monster being viral. Monsters classified as dangerous are very difficult to defeat, so fight them after you've gained enough levels. Okay, so that's what that was about in the other dungeon. I'm glad I never got into battle with those ones. Dangerous, risky, and tough. Monsters are displayed on the map as non-active monsters, so be sure to check your map. There are dangerous species monsters happening in the game industry. They are classified as dangerous, risky, and tough enemies. They are listed in the ascending order of difficulty. These monsters are not actively pursue you, so check the mini-map to see which enemies are classi classified as these. So, like, when I'm level 10 or so, I should try to go back to the other dungeon. So, who wants to get beaten first? Out of my, my way. Turn. Whoa. Hey. Here you go. <laughs> I How was my This has such a wide reach. This weapon's amazing. As while I'm running, I should just keep pinging. Okay, so it's plant and Whatever those are. Oh, it's a teleport? Ambush successful! So, who wants to get beaten first? Prepare yourself! My turn! Um Here. Hey! 
Enemy beaten. Large beacon, mysterious going object, which means I got some of the items that I needed for some of the plants. Cool. Okay, I should probably go back and do the idea chip thing now. Kind of want those items first, though. Okay, I'm gonna run up here and grab them. Power stone, strength booster, and parallaxing. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Give me a moment. Golden Crown? Ooh. Oh. Information. Sir Toichi. He has a plan to summon stronger enemies. I'm worried about the current game industry. Westwind Valley. Okay. He has a plan to change the items you can get in a dungeon. Yeah. Find out what you get with this. Yeah. Westwind Valley as well. This dev. Um. Let's see, I can't do that, so it's not worth doing in that one. Okay, ghost type, data type, animal type. Um. I'm gonna do animal type, and I want more experience, so I'm gonna do this one. Let's burn this game disc. Game creator. Okay, so that's how that works. I can reburn these if I want. I just lose all the memory on there. Okay, and sadly, this is not a high enough level one to do that. So I won't even bother with that at this point. Okay, checking my time. Ooh. How is this plan, Chica? It may come in handy, Nara. Nothing to ho lose holding on to this, Chica. Get the painting tamed. What? Um. Oh. I can create all these. So I can create pigments now out of those flower petals. So I guess I'll do this because I can. I sadly cannot do red pigment since I don't have any red petals. Can I do any of these? I cannot. That's unfortunate. Okay. Guys, I know this... Here. I'm gonna give a couple more minutes. We're gonna get a little bit further into Westwind Valley. This has mainly been cutscenes, so I don't want just an episode of cutscenes if I can avoid it. Herbs times two. What is the quest that we have? Active quests. Oh, it's Shamparoos. We can't do that. Um, maybe there are more quests. I'm gonna check real quick before we actually come in here. Final thing, sorry guys. Guild, act, accept quests, yes, dragon. White, black, and sometimes blue. Okay, now let's go into the dungeon. Sorry about that, I wasn't planning correctly. Let's try fighting this guy. See what these guys are about. These guys are sunflowers. Okay, so this is starting to make a lot more sense now that I've actually got more into combat. And for those of you who don't understand the combat, 
So you go in and you attack, right? You have three attacks. You have Break, Power, and Rush. Rush is just for the highest combo you can. Power is just pure damage output. Break is to break their uh, guard. See the pool bar into their health? That's what it is. I'm, I'm pointing a little arrow at it, probably. So all those attacks that I just used will deal heavy damage to their guard. Like that. And now that I've broken their guard, if I can even reach... Hello? This may hurt a bit. There we go. All power attacks and it deals more damage. Leave it to me. There we go. You're hurt. Leave it to me. This may hurt a bit. Finally. And now we're done. We've got a power stone for that as well. I'm not actually doing bad in this area, so let's pick up this item. Night Moon Grass. You're n oh come on. Leave it to me. Wait. These are the type of enemies that were shown off that could be yeah infected, right? Um. I wish I could check my status to see how far I am from leveling up. The I just want to burn it. Finally. Okay, I have such a wide thing yeah. that I can hit both of them. Yeah. Um, I guess break crush will do. It's time for your medicine. Done. Completed. All that completed and done and perfect. Um, Come at me. Crap. So, who wants to get beaten first? Prepare yourself. Yeah, there's no chance of hitting both of them. Crazy. This may hurt a bit. It's my turn. I got you. All right, power hit, power hit, power hit. Done. Level Completed. Up. And Level up. Level up. everyone's leveled up. So I was fine doing that. Oh my gosh, that's a Durgan. Oh my gosh, it's a Durgan. So they will not pick a fight with me. Lucky. I got Killer Aim and Pink Pigment. Cool. Am I getting progress on any of my quests? Uh, Large Beak, that's it. So these guys right here, I think. We can make Completed. Games. Lucky. Healing grass, intelligence booster, everything's fine. And did I get the item that I needed? I didn't even see. Not getting large beaks. So guys, I'm gonna save it here. Next time on Let's Play Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth One. We're going to be moving on. We're at the end of this dungeon from the looks of it already, even though there's a jump point there, so there's probably a bit more to it. But for now, this will be everything. Um, I don't know where the story is going to go from here, but I have a feeling like we're going to have to fight Noir soon. So this should be fun. I'll see you guys then.